Hey everyone, welcome back to Fast Cabling. In today's video, we're diving into an essential solution for all of you dealing with long-range high-speed network needs, outdoor gigabit Ethernet extender. So have you ever found yourself needing to extend your network beyond the standard 100 meters? Or maybe you're setting up a network in an outdoor space like a farm, lodge property, or remote area. If that sounds familiar, this video is exactly what you need. So first off, let's talk about the challenge. Most of us know that Ethernet cables have a maximum reliable range of about 100 meters. That's 328 feet. But when you're setting up a network outdoor, whether it's for security cameras, remote PCs, or any other device that need a high-speed connection, that limitation can be a real problem. And for these situations, you don't just need an extension. You need a stable, long-distance solution that keeps your gigabit speed intact. And that's where our outdoor gigabit Ethernet extender comes in. And let me give you a closer look at this device and show you exactly why it's perfect for these types of setup. So now let's see what's inside the box. Let's open it up. We have the extender itself. the PoE injector so we can send power for our extender the power outlet for our injector 1 meter ethernet cable a handy wrench a mounting bracket for our extender and finally our user manual now the extender has the input and output port. Let me show you. They're both RJ45. And you can connect both pre-made Ethernet connection and hand cream connector through the waterproof cable gland. And this is important. It is rated IP67, so it's fully waterproof and dustproof. You even have LED indicator to track the connection status. And our standard work with the PoE injector, this setup can handle long-range high-speed data transmission, support distances up to 200 meters, and provides gigabit speed, unlike older model kept at 100 megabit per second. So let's, let's move on and talk a little more about our connection. So let's dive into some of the standout features that make this extender so effective. This extender can boost your network up to 200 meters, double what a standard Ethernet cable can handle, supporting speed up to 1 gigabit per second, so it's perfect for high-speed setup where 100 megabit per second just won't cut it. And their extender is powered over Ethernet, so you don't need a power outlet right by it. This makes placement flexible and convenient, and no technical skills needed, just plug it in and you're good to go. Plus, it works with both pre-made and hand-creamed connectors. The UV protection coating on the extender can shield it from prolonged sunlight exposure, preventing degradation of the material and ensuring a longer lifespan in outdoor environment. And the IP67 rated enclosure is direct burial ready, meaning it can handle everything from rain and dust to extreme temperatures. So now let's see how it actually works. I'll walk you through two ways to set this up, depending on your distance and speed needs. First, if you don't need the full 200 meters, you can use the extender in this way. By placing the extender next to the injector, you are able to extend the range of up to 450 feet. That's about 140 meters with gigabit speed. So now let's start by connecting our PoE injector to our router first. Using an ethernet cable to connect to the input port so we can receive the data. 
and then using another short patch cord to connect the output port to our extender here. So as you can see, we have the input port A and output port B. We're going to connect to the input port A. First, let's put it through our gland using the rubber to wrap around it and then pull it inside the gland in the neck so we can have a completely waterproof setup and then tighten it remember to use the wrench to fasten it tightly so nothing can get in this is the input port we have the led indicated lights let's plug it in So we can see the lights are on and this neck in the gland not only can get in the hand creamed connector but also the pre-made connector. And now let's plug it to the output port which is the port B. And this is the special mounting tool so you can mount our extender on a DIN reel making the installation flexible. And let's follow our 100 meters Ethernet cable here. Remember, by using this setup, you are able to get 140 meters. So we have extra 40 meters. So each row has 20 meters. I'm going to join them together using a coupler. This, we have the 100 meters plus 20 meters. And then let's join this 20 meters together, 20 and 20, so now we get 40 meters. Let's join them together. And finally, we are going to connect it to the computer. As you can see, the indicated lights are on. So this setup is great if you need a little extra distance beyond the standard 100 meters, but don't need to go the full 200. And next I'm going to show you how to extend your network up to 650 feet or around 200 meters at gigabit speed. Now we're going to start by connecting the router to our injector for data. Let's plug it into the input port. Then we're going to use 100 meters Ethernet cable to connect to the output port. So now we can send both power and data through this 100 meters Ethernet cable to our extender. So let's plug it into the input port, which is A. And then using another 100 meters Ethernet cable to connect to the output port. And this special mounting tool allows you to mount the extender on the DIN reel flexibly. And now let's follow another 100 meters Ethernet cable. That means total we get 200 meters. And let's connect it. To my computer. As you can see, we are getting the data. So this method ensures a solid gigabit connection over 200 meters distance, which is fantastic for outdoor network needs. All right, so let's talk a little more about installation tips. When you're dealing with outdoor setup, safety is key. You should use pure copper shielded Cat5 E or Cat6 Ethernet cable. This helps with surge protection and ensure a reliable connection. Make sure you're using the included PoE injector to power the extender. This will help prevent power loss over long distances. And also use the wrench to secure the waterproof cable glands properly to prevent any moisture from getting into the enclosure. And when burying the cable, use a shallow trench and add protective conduits if possible for added durability. Now let's see if we're getting those promised gigabit speed. I already connect the extender to a laptop and now let's go do a quick speed test. 
I'm going to hit the start. And as you can see, we are maintaining a stable gigabit connection even with this extended 200 meters range. So this is a game changer for long distance outdoor setup. And to wrap this up, let's talk about a few scenario where this extender really shines. Farm networks, which is great for connecting remote sensors or cameras on large properties. And outdoor security, perfect for high resolution security cameras far from the main building. An extended Wi-Fi network, ideal for extended network coverage to outdoor spaces like event venues or public parks. So there you have it, an outdoor gigabit Ethernet extender that extends your network beyond the typical range and keeps your speed high and withstand the elements. Now, thank you very much for joining us at Fast Cabling. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to get notified when we post more tech tips and gear reviews. And if you have any questions about the setup, feel free to drop them in the comment section below, and we'll be happy to help. And I'll see you in our next video.